Sigmund Freud here on the concept of light and time and how the two are correlated in a timely fashion. And it's a light topic. So, we know that light is the fastest known, uh, well, let's see, uh, quantity, quality, thing, um, substance in the, in the universe, supposedly the fastest known. And it travels lightly. Why? Well, because it's light, silly. So light travels lightly. That's how it was designed to travel. And it travels lightly. So nothing heavy about it, about that. Time and, um, well, um, that in correlation with light. Well, you need to have light to see the time. So if you're looking at the time to see what time it is, you need lots of light. If you have no light, can you still see what time it is? Probably not because you're in the dark. So you don't want to be in the dark when you're looking to see what time it is. So once you've found the time, uh, you can see the time because of the light. Um, time does travel forward and backwards. Light travels at 186,000 miles per second. Time travels slowly or very quick, depending on where you're going or who you're with or if you're stuck somewhere. So if you're stuck somewhere and you're out of time and nothing to do, I su would suggest you go out and get some light and see the light while you still have some time. Um, there's daylight savings time where you can save lots of light um, no matter what time it is. But there is daylight savings time. So while it's day, save the light. Uh, you'll be just in time to save the light. Um, let's see. So we have daylight savings time. We have time enough to save the light. We know the light travels, and that's light. Time um, can be a heavy topic, but not when the time is found in the light. When you're traveling in the light and you're looking at your watch, is it you that's traveling through time lightly? Or um, is the light traveling through time lightly? Well, if you're both part of light, which are composed of light particles, and you're stuck in time or part of time, then you are traveling, in fact, in time lightly. So um, you can travel by train, by boat, by plane, uh, in the dark, but then you can't see the time. So you've got to wait until morning when the light arrives to see what time it is, um, where you're traveling, and what you're traveling. Um, if you have no light and no time, well, then you're out of time and you're, um, well, you're what? You're, uh, you're, you're not so light. You're out of light. So you're out of light and out of time. Well, you're out of luck. So, um, light and time travel together, usually first class, and they travel, um, in time, through time. Um, from the beginning of time to the end of time. So, those are the correlated factors of light and time. I hope you found the light, and I hope you found the time to see the light.